we want to remove the power from its outlet. Then we come over here. We've got several fuses. It's a fuse. Got a fuse there. And this is the one we think might be having a hard time. So I've got a multimeter. Um, I've got it set to 200. We're looking for um, just to see if anything connects between them. So. So we're going to test the um, 3 amp. Great. Now we're going to test the 20 amp. It's hard to see. Great. So I've replaced it a couple times, so I know it might be this one. This is the 1 8 amp, um, and all of these are 250 volt VAC. Okay. So when I connect these two together, we get numbers. I don't get any numbers here. So we want to remove it. Great. And then we're just going to verify one eight amp. And I think these are three amps. So I'm going to go find the one eight amp. Great. Look and find down here. We don't see any water. That's really nice. Here is our 1 8 amp fuse. Uh, this goes in the little spot right here. Very nice. So, um, the I'm pretty confident this will be the fix. So I'm going to screw the lid back on. Um, we just want to make sure it runs before we connect this outside cover on. Um, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. Brand new fuse. screws right here this spot right here we just want to keep our hands um, away from the uh, electricity um, so we're going to just close it up uh, just to stay safe so we're going to go um, to our GFCI um, outlet and reset it because this is ready to go All right, we are at our outlet right here. So we've got a, this will do a test, this will do a reset. 
This is a plug. But it's a fancy one. This thing. So if we want to test this, we could do a ground fault, do a reset. Working nice. Great. Great. We'll put this cover back on and get it working. <laughs> 